So in today's video, isi-share ko po sa inyo kung paano ko na process yung mga documents ko to work in Taiwan step by step. If you are planning to work in Taiwan, or my employer na kayo but hindi mo alam kung saan ka magsisimula, well, stay tuned at isi-share ko po sa inyo in details based on my experience. Please don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification button para naman maging updated kayo sa mga next videos ko. So without further ado, let's get started! Alright, so para po sa inyong kaalaman, hindi po ako nag-agency kasi um, I'm a direct hire and kasal kasalukuyan po akong nagtatrabaho um, sa isang bilingual school dito sa Taiwan as a teacher, of course. So, ano bang mga kailangan natin i-compile? Okay. So, let's start with the phase 1. Okay. Parte po ng phase 1 ay ang pagkuha ng personal documents. Unang-una, kailangan niyo pong kumuha ng CAV. Ang CAV po ay Certification Authentication Ver Verification na makukuha niyo lang po sa University Registral Re Registrar Office. To request this document, you need to bring the original copy of your diploma, TOR, at saka isang valid ID. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan na ipa-photocopy ito lahat bago niyo isubmit sa University of Registral Office. The second part of the phase 1 is you need to get a health certificate. Um, ilalagay ko po yung link sa description box para ma-check niyo po kung ano po yung mga affiliated hospital sa inyong city by Teco. Kasi may mga iilang hospitals lang po na na accredited by Teco. So, um, in my case po, since I live in Cebu and the only affiliated hospital by Teco is Physician Diagnostic Services Center Cebu um, which is located in Ramos. Please bring your passport and a, two copies of 2 by 2 picture with white background. Pen, of course. Blue, black pen, yes. Valid ID. Don't forget to request two copies of your health certificate. Bucket, Kasi yung isang copy nito is for getting the working visa at saka yung isang copy po is for getting the working permit dun sa job site country. So, once you get your health certificate, you have to notarize and kana your health certificate. Um, this is for DFA authentication requirement. Kailangan po natin ipanotarize at ipakana. So, kailangan po mag-sign ni executive judge sa iyong health certificate. So, the third part po is you need to get a cedula. Once you apply for getting the cedula in the morning, you can just get that after few minutes. Just don't forget to bring your valid ID. Always, always bring your valid ID po. The next part is you need to get a barangay clearance. To get a barangay clearance, you need to show your cedula and your valid ID. The next part is you need to get a police clearance. To get a police clearance, you have to show them your cedula and the barangay clearance and one valid ID. So please don't forget to photocopy the three requirements. Don't forget po to request two copies of police clearance. The next part is getting an NBI clearance. Um, I'm going to write the link in the description box for you to apply the NBI clearance online. And the good thing about getting NBI clearance is that once you may make an appointment on that day, you can also get the clearance on the same day. And the last one po, last part ng phase one is you have to get a PSA birth certificate. The good thing of getting the PSA birth certificate on the PSA branch is that you will be able to receive your your PSA authenticated birth certificate on the same day. So that's for the phase one. Let's proceed to the phase two. Phase two is all about DFA authentication. You have to bring all the personal documents that I've mentioned before, especially the CAV. Yung CAV po pala, once you got this document, it was or it is sealed in a white envelope. So please never open it or tear it. CAV. Two copies of your health certificate. This is notarized and kana. Two copies of police clearance. At saka isang NBI. Please provide a photocopy of those documents that I've mentioned. Except for the CAV. Kasi nga nakasil nga naman ito. At saka ilalagay ko po sa description box yung link kung saan 
kayo pwede makapag-download ng form. Let's proceed to the third phase. Ang third phase po natin is all about Teco Authentication. This is the Taiwan Embassy. The Teco Office is only located in Manila. It's in Makati. Ilalagay ko po sa, sa description, description box yung address ng Teco Office. Kailangan niyo pong dalhin yung yung six documents na pina-authenticate nyo po sa DFA. Four pieces of Taiwan visa. The size is 1.5 by 2. Kailangan nyo po ng four pieces. Dapat yung picture nyo po is white background with white color. Ilalagay ko din po sa description box yung link kung saan po kayo pwede makapag-download ng application form for Teco Authentication. Please click the link po and check na lang. So, mga kailangan nyo photocopies yung yung DFA authenticated uh, documents there are six kailangan niyo pong ipa-photocopy per page yon photocopy of your of your passport at saka yung um, government issued ID at saka please don't forget to download the um Teco authentication or the the form the application form for the Teco authentication after you you got your your Teco authenticated documents kailangan niyo pong i-send to dun sa employer niyo sa job site country kasi gagamitin po nila yung mga documents mo to apply for a working permit. So, the phase 4 is getting a working permit. That's my employer part. So, let's proceed to the phase 5. The phase 5 po is uh, processing for the working requ working visa requirements. So, this time po, kailangan nyo pong pumunta ulit sa Teco office. Ilalagay ko po ulit sa description box yung link kung saan kayo pwede mag-apply ng working visa online. After nyo pong mag-apply online, kailangan nyo pong i-print a uh, completed visa application form. So, lalagay ko po dito. At saka, please remember this. Please choose general visa application and click new. Fill up the important information. You may need to ask your company for these details. Yung number of recruitment letter, issued date, name of your employer, name of your agency, um, agency contact number, school address, at saka yung proposed arrival date mo sa Taiwan. You also may bring, or you also have to bring your passport, your old and a new passport. Please don't forget to photocopy those. Then your birth certificate, the NBI clearance, is bring the vaccine result. The vaccine result is is attached with the other health uh, the health results bond. So the vaccine result looks like this one, the yellow yellow paper. Two pieces of 1.5 by 2 photo size, the Taiwan visa. Supporting documents or official letter of application and the complete authority of ROC Taiwan. Um, this is the the for the working permit i think they will give it to you attached with your personal documents your health certificate please don't forget to bring for accepting employment yeah, the letter from the employer in the roc taiwan employment or permission to work this is already part of your working permit yay hey 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 so the last part po is getting an oec at poea office what is oec oec po is overseas employment certificate kailangan po natin kumuha ng oec para makapag-exit po tayo sa country natin at legal po tayo magtrabaho doon sa ibang bansa for this phase may dalawang parts po ako na share. First part po is kailangan niyo pong i-photocopy ang mga documents na i-mention ko dito. Unang-una is yung passport. Pangalawa, yung valid working visa niyo. The working permit. Yung employment contract. This, it should be the original copy of your employment contract. It must be verified by the Philippine Overseas Labor Office or POLO. It must be authenticated by the Philippine Embassy. These documents or must be provided by your employer. The company profile, the business license, eh, or the commercial registration of your employer. The Polo endorsement letter addressed to the administrator seeking exemption from the ban on direct hiring. And for the additional documents, your COE original diploma and transcript of record or TOR. PRC if you have, and resume. And the last part for the, kailangan po kayong magpa, 
ang gumawa ng notary statement and is all about uh, how the workers the, or you how the workers secured the employment with the attached photocopy of your employer's passport id and contact details so that's for the part one and for the part two po um you need to prepare again original and the two copies and two copies of each document so first one is the e-registration so itong e-registration is online po ito kailangan nyo lang po mag sign up uh, after you sign up and fill up all important background and information or details about yourself then you can print you can download and print it ilalagay ko po sa description box yung link the second part po is compliance form um the compliance form is actually optional it depends if the poa officer is satisfied with the contract or is, is if it's there's something missing in the contract in my case po may kulang po sa contract ko na hindi dinitalye ng aking employer. So, kaya binigyan po ako ng compliance form just to make sure that my employer will provide me this blah, 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 blah and stuff. For the compliance form, you just need to scan the document. They will give you a copy. Scan the document. Send it to your employer. Let your employer sign it and give it back to you. It doesn't matter if it's original or not. As long as my signature ng employer mo. Okay. The next part po is you need to get a medical or a health certificate again because in my case par na po yung medical certificate na kinuha ko before make sure that valid pa yung medical certificate nyo or if it's not then you have to get it again no choice the next part po is the pre-employment orientation seminar certificate or the PEOS I will write down the link in the description box. Please click and create an account. And once you create or after you create an account, please don't forget to photocopy it. Print and photocopy it. Next is the pre-departure orientation seminar or the PDOS. The certificate is issued and scheduled by the person in charge. So you have to ask an endorsement form. Bring your passport and a copy of your original employment contract. And then um, the POEA clearance. Once you're done with the part one, you can get the POEA clearance issued by the POEA uh, on the part on the next part. And the last part po is you need to get a uh, health insurance. In Cebu, there are only two um, accredited uh, insurance company, the Paramount Life Insurance, and the Fortune Life Insurance. Then, there you go. You have your OEC. So, usually, you have four copies of your OEC. I hope this video helps, especially for those people who want to work in Taiwan. So, if you like this video, please don't forget to click subscribe and hit that bell button. Thank you so much, bro, and have a nice day.